Hello YouTube. This is MacGyver. Yes. I'm here now to show you my homemade air gun bulb. Okay. My materials is first angle bulb. And then remove this untied bulb and then this pin you can use also you can use also water angle bulb this one okay just remove this one this remove and the bulb this the this the bulb control bulb and then after removing, you cut rubber. This is the rubber I cut. This one. Okay. Make it two. Two rubber bulb. And you can cut with the pipe. This, this is the pipe I used to cut. Just sharpen the edge and then do like that. Okay, so you can so you have this round rubber bulb, and then the firing pin is this one firing pin bulb. Just insert that. Firing pin and the, and do the piece. Now and this the one and then this will go inside. But for now, this bolt is too short. You cannot you cannot reach the other side on this side. Okay. And yesterday I made the one with the long, long bolt, and I will show you. This is the one I made yesterday. Okay, and I removed the pin here. It's the one here, same this one. I removed the pin, and this is the pin. Yeah. And then I remove the bulb inside and this the one control the pressure or the water. I remove this and I put aside. And after that I cut rubber. I cut the rubber here. This the rubber and then I insert inside inside up to just like this okay and then this used to block to block the air passing through here huh? just like a o-ring and after that you place it but uh, be sure that you put hole so the firing pin will go inside but uh, make it uh, not too tight so the firing pin will go back back and forth so you will close the the reservoir exit Okay, after you install this rubber inside, through here, you need to fill a epoxy. I use my epoxy, uh, where is that epoxy? Yeah, this one. Okay, I use this epoxy. This two kind, one hardener, and... Uh, Okay. 
the box gate. And this is the box I mixed yesterday, but now it's too hard. So useless now. I peel it inside. While you are peeling, okay. While before you peeling, insert the bulb. Okay, wait, wait. This is the bulb I made yesterday. See? This is the rubber. And the, there is a washer. Yeah, for a stopper and to to make stronger while while you are firing your ri uh, rifle. Yeah, this is the one. And then you put this inside, insert inside like this. Okay. Like that, see? That's good, no? And then, after you insert it, now it's time to put, you peel, it's time to peel a epoxy. So, the reason why you need to insert the firing, firing bulb or firing pin to make sure that um, set on the middle and set on the middle and then continue peeling by epoxy and after you finish peeling you wait for for five minutes five minutes because if you left this for one hour, this firing pin, you will not able to remove. The reason why you you need to wait a uh, little bit dry for five minutes or ten minutes. After that, you can wiggle it. You can you can twist the firing pin. So you will not stick on the epoxy. So you have a pre really uh, bulb moving movement. See? Okay. And then after that, after that, this is the. This is your transfer port. This this transfer port used to attach your barrel. Okay. You need to curb curbing on this side so the barrel will fit snugly like this. I'm sorry, this is a rusty pipe, but uh, I will show you for example. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, this is your barrel. So you put hole on this side and then go like that. And okay, that's your air rifle homemade. And then this this thread used to connect your air tank, but for now, I don't have that air tank. Maybe tomorrow I will search in my storeroom if there is uh, available. So use this for attachment for your uh, air reservoir. You can attach first the coupling. Coupling. Or if you have that uh, cup, end cup PVC pipe with the uh, attachment of one half on this, 
so you can attach like that and this is the one I just draw it so you can see the example okay this is the PVC pipe this is your spring to push this bulb okay and okay spring and this is the air reserve of this whole drawing okay this is the angle bulb and this is the firing bulb firing pin bulb go through there so i told you don't forget the wrapper to install inside on this side so the air will coming from here through the transfer port going to your bio and then for now I did not cut this very long uh, firing pin because maybe I have some purpose for this but if I don't have any option I will cut from here okay and this is the this is represent as your hammer hammer and this is your spring spring and here maybe you put trigger this is your trigger it's up to you where you want to put the trigger maybe side trigger or it's up to you man and okay this is my homemade air rifle bulb and I have this nice nice one nice selection this is my imagination uh, for one week and now become reality and maybe next week this will go to hunting and I will try this for hunting bird or any rat uh, we don't have rabbit here okay this is my air gun bulb homemade so i hope you like it and uh, maybe you can make your own just follow this this material and this this rubber thickness is one port if you have a thicker one that's better but i have this available for now and uh, i use it but uh, it's like original okay. okay and i will show you my ammo I will install this this rifle will be like a upgraded blowgun yeah rifle blowgun and this is my ammo see I have a blowgun homemade blowgun I use a uh, electrical piping this is my ammo and this will be my and this will be my barrel seven foot barrel this is my blowgun see danger yeah this is my barrel i will attach this on this uh, air bulb Okay, I put the side also on the end. This is accurate 25, 25 meters, yeah, and two inch by two inch target. Very accurate. This is my barrel for my homemade uh, air bulb. 
the next next week you can see this for hunting hunting video I'm going to hunt a bird and rat okay so hope, I hope you like it uh, and uh, don't forget to click like or leave your comment I'm sorry for my uh, English but I'm trying to be perfect but no need to perfect I hope you understand okay because this is the detail thank you guys and thank you for watching and bye for now